abuse and it does mean sometimes you will have little areas of the park that are just that little bit less even than others and in fact there it's caught out the Sligo Rovers defender again and uh, the ball is cut back inside there's pressure on this is good play from UCD a ball across the box Kids is there the anywhere there UCD there is Alex Nolan and, and the ball Nolan, the back of the net. UCD and Nolan the has put us a up one up superb finish that was absolutely fantastic Declan and an early lead for UCD with their first attack of the game in the fifth minute. Lovely piece of anticipation there from Kiss of the Bishop. He spotted the mistake. He capitalised on it, pinged in across, and Alex, uh, Alex Nolan put it away. Yeah, brilliant finish, because I could see him, you know, he had to keep that ball down. The ball, as we said, was bobbling around, but uh, that will be one that will really annoy John Russell, because Sligo had possession. The pitch maybe got slightly in the way, in fairness to him bobbled he lost possession of the ball and then UCD just put the squeeze on the goalkeeper and they got the goal the first goal in the Premier Division tonight has come here at Belfield and UCD have the lead and uh, sorry that was uh, Alex Nolan scoring that one yeah lovely finish into the bottom right corner there that was a really composed finish for the students Higgins back to Gallagher Gallagher's dispossessed. Sligo on the attack again. Cross comes into the area. And it's in the back of the net. Offside, unfortunately, from a Sligo perspective. It's offside. In fairness, he did look a goal. Nice free kick. Sails over the bar. Worth a try. Yeah, absolutely worth an effort there from uh, Bar of the Man who the won ball. the free chips kick. It into the box. Headed clear by Keeney. Only as far as Bulger. He chips it back in towards Mata. Mata gets the header on it. Oh, unlucky. He just couldn't quite get that one down. He heads a little bit high. And you told left. me two was a half ago halfway through the first half of the second game, UCD would be unbeaten. I would have been very pleased indeed. <laughs> yeah. And Livacci down on the right-hand side. A lovely ball in from Mata Chase. Excellent ball from Livacci. Cuts inside a chance for Mata. It must be. And it is. That is a superb goal from Sligo Rovers brilliant passing of the ball UCD were frustrated that they did give away the possession in the middle of the park but absolute all credit to Sligo Rovers one pass little cut inside and the ball is in the back of the net brilliantly yeah Matt a really lovely finish you can see it in the replay there just one touch cuts inside uh, Lorcan Healy does his best to narrow the angle but it is a brilliant save from UC er, it's a brilliant goal excuse me from Sligo Rovers. The commentator's curse on UCD there, Declan. Yes, indeed. And we are level here at the bowl. But at least the viewers got to see a nice bit of football. Yeah, lovely goal. Excellent goal and uh, a little bit more direct. And there's uh, no ruling that one out for offside. We are level in this SSER Tristan League Premier Division class. So, Max Matter with the goal there for Sligo Rovers, cancelling out Alex Nolan's fifth minute opener. And yeah, under pressure there was Bowden. He's just had to kick it out for a throw in to Sligo Rovers, and it's uh, looking like it's going to be Barlow to take this one. Going through for shortcut, I think, might be the best short term to describe that challenge. And you see, take a quick free kick. We give it straight to Hutchinson. Lovely turn, takes a shot. An effort comes in. It's a beautiful shot. Yeah, oh, just he was a little unlucky the there bar. with his uh, accuracy. Just a little unlucky there with his accuracy. But he got that ball to <laughs> for Kinsler Bishop to chase down, and he's underneath this. No, indeed. It comes out to the left hand side for Barr. In towards Kinsella Bishop. Good ball. Chance for a goal. And Kinsella Bishop has scored. Kinsella Bishop, superb goal. And it's uh, a reversal of the earlier goal. This time, the uh, the ball came in from Kieran Behan. And it's Kinsella Bishop who finishes it. And once again, like in the first half, UCD have an early goal here. 2 1 for college. Yeah. That was a lovely move, Declan, a really good finish. I thought the keeper was going to get there in front of Kinsley Bishop. He didn't, it and it is the like lead. It looks like the keeper is uh, slightly hurt, and indeed the physio is waiting to get called on. Yeah, he so. got a bit of a clattering from Kinsley Bishop as, mm. as he finished the goal. But you can see here, ball inside, and a lovely touch from uh, yeah. Sligo. Sligo. All Sligo at the moment. Ball inside here from Matty, who has it. Again, used to be making sure not to put the challenge in. And it's going to be a penalty. 
Two games, two penalties, Declan. The record well, from last season continues. Continues, yeah. So can we look forward to continuing 36 penalties this year, do you reckon? <laughs> I'll go on by this rate, we will. And that is uh, an opportunity now for Sligo Rovers to well, even this one up. Some of the penalties awarded against this club last season were extremely dubious, not least of which was one against St. Pat's that happened 10 yards outside the penalty area. Yeah, this one looked a little bit more clear cut. It must be this is a chance for Sligo Rovers to, to draw level for the second time in this game. And indeed, Mata buries it into the right corner. Her second goal of the game, two all. And we've got just under 22 minutes for Sligo to play in the middle here. In this game. Fitzgerald now on the left. What can he do? Cuts back inside and is right. Still going Fitzgerald. Still going Fitzgerald. Still Fitzgerald. Ball in. Oh, oh, so close from Fitzgerald. That would have been a superb solo goal. He prefers him on the left, but he nearly got one with the right there, Declan. Yeah, no, good good play there from Sligo Rovers and uh, Will Fitzgerald in particular. And um, they may live to regret that. Yeah, that was very close. You could see it on the replay. Just a look. Hutchinson, his first touch isn't great, but he's still going. And it is another penalty for Sligo Rovers. He did catch him, I think, Declan. And an opportunity for the Sligo Rovers to take the lead. Outside the shagging box. Excuse my French. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be very interesting to see that in the replay because it looks to. It the challenge look happened first. outside the box. He wasn't touched inside the area. If you look at the replay now, you'll see that he was not touched inside the area. And that is another extremely appalling penalty. That's where the challenge happened. Yeah, that one, uh, the touch clearly is outside the box there. Clearly outside the box. Certainly the would. annoying thing for Mata now with a chance to give Sligo Rovers the lead at Belfield. Twice they've been behind. Can they take the lead with just under nine minutes to go? Mata. And he buries it straight down the middle, and Rovers have the lead in this game. So hopefully that will be added on by the fourth official at the end. But can Sligo get the fourth goal, which would wrap up the points here before any of that happens? Ball inside. He's awarded a free kick to UCD. That's even more egregious than the penalty award. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yellow card for a dive. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I'd love to see that on the replay. Was that a dive? Take? Maybe it was. Just referee's a lot closer than we are, in fairness to him. So if he's got the decision right, mm. I would bow to his superior knowledge. Just looking at it on the replay here while uh, Lorcan Healy takes the kick. Ah, it was theatrical enough, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, smart commentary one is for, going to be, uh, it's going to be about the fact that the penalty happened outside the area. Yeah, the indeed. And, and that's the frustrating thing from a UST mm. perspective. And there is the full time. It's not the first time no, that's no happened time, either. Yeah, absolutely no time on it on. But credit to Sligo Rovers. They had to battle back twice from behind here. And they have won 3 2 against UCD at the ball here in this SSE Artricity League Premier Division clash. UCD were twice ahead in this game, as I say. Uh, they took, like, took the lead early on. Alex Nolan got a goal in the first half. But Sligo Rovers weren't uh, to be denied. Mata had them uh, level on 21 minutes with a nice finish at the front post. Danu Kinsler Bishop then finished for UCD, poking home uh, shortly after the restart. Mata's second then uh, went in at that stage with a penalty, and then he completed the hat trick on 82 minutes with another penalty. The second penalty, clearly a handball. The third penalty, the one the UCD supporters might have issue with. It looked to us like the contact was clearly outside the box, and we got a couple of replays. But it is Sligo Rovers who take the points from the UCD ball, as they did when they played here early October of last year.